Today, we're going to be attempting this UKMT CNMS challenge question. It is question 16 out of 25 from the paper. Each question has five possible answers and one of them is correct. Now, just guessing the answers is not the best way to do it. To get them all correct, that would be a fifth to the power of 25, which is a small number. So what you're better off doing is trying to answer them as quickly and as intuitively as you can. So what I'd recommend doing right now is pausing the video and having a go yourself. Okay, now I've assumed you've all had a go, so I'm going to go through it now. So reading this question, the first thing that comes to light is the fact that there are three unknowns, x, y, and z. And I have two equations, so let's write those two equations out. 9x plus 3r minus 5z is equal to minus 4. And the second one is 5x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 13. So again, I will say that there are three unknowns in two equations, so we cannot directly solve this. So I can't get x, y, and z separately. I have to think about a way I can approach this question that doesn't involve direct solving. Now, the definition of mean is x plus y plus z over 3 here, because I have three numbers, and to, to work out the mean of three numbers is you add the numbers together, and you divide by how many numbers there are, and there are three numbers, and so x plus y plus z over 3 is the mean in this situation. So if I can find x plus y plus z, then I can work out the mean. So that's my goal here. How can I find x plus y plus z? And what I'm going to do is I need to subtract these in a certain way in order to get x plus y plus z. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this equation. So let's multiply this equation by 2. So times 2. And that's going to give me 10x plus 4y minus 4z is equal to 26. And I'm going to write the other one below it. The first equation. And this is why the UKMT mass challenge is tricky. You need to be able to see these kind of things. And if I subtract this equation from the equation above it, I'm going to get x, 10x minus 9x, y, 4y minus 3y, and z, because it's going to be minus 4z minus minus 5z. And that's going to be equal to 26 minus minus 4, which is 30. And therefore, if I divide both sides by 3, this is the definition of the mean, and that's going to give me 10. So my answer was A. If you got that, well done.